Hello, hello, and welcome back to Zachapotamus Prime, and welcome back to Whimsical Sims in The Sims 4. Uh, I have a big announcement, you guys. You can hopefully tell that I have a new microphone. And if my voice is a little too loud or too quiet sometimes, it's because I'm just getting used to it. I just plugged it in literally today. It arrived yesterday at my house. And yeah, I'm really excited because um, the audio quality before was not the greatest. All I had before was like um, a $15 headset microphone. <laughs> this one wasn't super expensive, but it's a definitely better. It's actually a dedicated microphone, so it should hopefully sound a lot better. Um, just going to get into what we're doing today. Today, we're playing with the Burgess family. Every single sim in this household has been generated by the game, which I think is really fun. And they live here in Brindleton Bay. This is a pre-made house that, that ships with the Cats and Dogs expansion pack. Um, I believe it's called Domus Familiaris? Familiaris? I can't speak Latin. It's kind of pretty. I like the curviness. I like the blue color. I like the windows. Um, these sims are kind of connected to my other families. Let me find the family tree. This is Brittany Burgess. She's like the founder of the family. Um, she is the sister of Christopher Reardon who married one of my sims and fathered some children with her. At least one kid, I'm not sure. Let me check. Oh, okay, they only had one kid, Willow, who is the f mother of Elijah and Quincy Woodruff. I think we've seen Elijah in previous episodes. I don't think we've seen Quincy. So maybe we'll go see Quincy next week. Um. But anyway, yeah, her brother died a long time ago, and she was, like, in the world, but, like, not in a house kind of thing. Whatever that is, you know, where they don't age because they don't live anywhere. So I decided to pop her down and give her a life. Um, she's an elder. She's not very far away from dying, I think. But yeah, you can see there she's lived for a thousand and forty-eight days of Sims time. That's a long time. Um, Brittany is materialistic, she's creative, and she's a glutton. Uh, she likes programming, painting, video gaming. She likes the color green. She has some dislikes too, but that's just too much. Uh, she has a lot of lifestyles. I don't know how she has four I'm pretty sure they're only supposed to have three, but somehow she has four. People, person, sedentary, indoorsy, and techie. I can't even scroll down to it, because, like, it's not supposed to be there. Um, Brittany works in the education career. She's at level four, a mentor teacher, and her aspiration is to be a computer whiz. She's not doing very good at that. She's only at uh, one out of four completed. This is her husband, Jamari. Um, his aspiration is to be an academic. He's not doing very well at that either. Uh, as you can see here in his uh, career tab, he's been suspended from university with only one credit left to get his degree. This university is a pain if you're not, not playing them the whole time in Sims 4. He also has a part-time job as a table cleaner in the fast food uh, part-time career. And he is childish, active, and loves the outdoors. He's also not too far away from uh, releasing this mortal coil. Um, he likes alternative music and kids' radio music, cooking, fitness, and painting, and he likes the color brown. He has no lifestyles yet, interestingly enough. Um, this is their son. Oh, by the way, 
I forgot to mention this, all their kids are adopted because when they met, they were already both elders. So Brittany couldn't get pregnant. So this is their son, Tony. Uh, his aspiration is to be a public enemy. He's actually doing pretty good at that for a teen. He's almost all the way through the first one. Uh, he doesn't have a hard time job, but he's got a C at uh, high school. He's childish and lazy. And then he's got dastardly from his aspiration. He's got eight days until he ages up into a young adult. So it won't be today. Um, this is their daughter, Mackenzie. Mackenzie is a glutton, and she loves the outdoors. She's got 11 days until she ages up into a young adult. She has a B at school, and her aspiration is to find her soulmate. And then finally, we have Tara, their youngest daughter. Her childhood aspiration is to be a whiz kid. She's stuck on reading with an adult for two hours. They never get that one done because they never get a whim about it. So I might have to make an excuse for like fulfilling her fun that way or something. She has a B in school right now, um, and she is creative. She doesn't have any dislikes or likes yet. Her character values... Oh, right, the other kid's character values. Let's check on those. She's doing all right. It's kind of average. Uh, Mackenzie's doing really good at responsibility and manners. The other stuff is just okay. And Tony is doing really good at manners. He's doing kind of good at conflict resolution. Everything else is just okay. All right. So now the introductions are finally out of the way. Let's get started. It is love day here in Sims World. Don't mind the lag. It always lags when you start up this game, I swear. And then it goes away after like two seconds. Okay, so Brittany's up here. We're Working on a side job for programming, that's good. I already have some whims pinned in, pinned in for her because I was playing with them yesterday uh, off screen. She wants to level up her programming skill and flirt with her husband. And then Jamari wants to win a multiplayer game on the video game console and use a workout machine at the gym. Well, we're not gonna go to the gym. Right now he's taking a shower. It's a steamy shower as well. So maybe we can get um, some love day date action going on for these two. An at home date. <laughs> These kids won't be back from school until 3 o'clock. Hopefully they'll actually show up at the appropriate time. Last week they were, uh, lagging. Really bad, not coming up- coming home until like... 3.30, 4 o'clock. Okay, Jamari's done with his shower, he's out here boxing. Um, dang, her side job is taking forever. I'm gonna fast forward it just for a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't lag too bad. Like, the FPS won't drop that much, but the, the simulation lag. We have a chance card. Make Love Day flower cards. During art, Mackenzie's class was instructed to create flower-themed cards for each other. After gathering glitter... Colored pencils, construction paper petals, and fuzzy pipe cleaners. Mackenzie sat down, her creative juices flowing. The cards would be shared and opened with the rest of the class during the party later, so this had to be good. Two themes came to mind. Create hilarious flower cards, or create heartfelt flower cards. Uh, Mackenzie was the one who had the aspiration to find her soulmate, so I'm going to make heartfelt flower cards. I think that's what she would do. Oh goodness, we have another one with Tara. 
Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> for Love Day, Tara decided to handcraft a card for their crush, complete with pipe cleaner hearts, glitter flowers, and dinosaurs. Because who doesn't love dinosaurs? Tara just needed to decide if she should let it slip that it was her who made the card, or secretly drop it in their cubby. Uh, I think she should deliver it by hand. She's a bold one. Okay, what happened? Okay, Mackenzie had a bad outcome. Sometimes bearing your soul through a series of revealing cards that are delivered to an entire class of teenagers isn't a good idea. Yeah, I can see that. Tara also had a bad, uh, bad result. Tara's crush didn't even know she existed. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to find her crush on the playground. By the time Tara gave up and returned to the cubby, her crush's book bag was gone and the entire opportunity had been lost. Well, dang, both of our girls struck out for love day. That's unfortunate. Oh, since Love Day, I should probably mention that uh, I already rolled for their uh, gender preferences. And Tony is gay, and Mackenzie is straight. We don't know what Tara is yet. She hasn't um, aged up into a teen and gone through puberty yet. Uh, we have another chance card, decorating for the Love Day dance. When the teacher asked for volunteers to help set up for the Love Day dance. Tony was quick to raise his hand. Not only would he get out of class for a few hours, but he'd be given a huge, or no, a unique opportunity. Uh, decorate for the best dance ever or prank the Love Day dan dance. Um, he is childish, actually. I think he would prank the Love Day dance. Prince of Pranks, destroyer of Love Day, all titles bestowed upon Tony for his maniacal ingenuity when decorating the gym for the Love Day dance. Who? Sure, he got in a bit of trouble with the teachers, but that's part of the fun. All the school thinks Tony is hilarious, and the dance was way better than it would have been otherwise. Nice. <clears throat> She's still working on that side job. What? Oh, right. Jamari is childish. I shouldn't be surprised He's coming here to play with toys. What are those animations? I've seen it before, but I sometimes I don't fully absorb it. It's like he's hallucinating. Can other people see that? Oh my gosh, they can't. Only he can see this stuff. If I click over to her, it disappears because she can't see it. I never knew that before. Is she done yet? Dang. I'm gonna make her stop. I'm gonna have her come down here and flirt with him. Um... Just do normal flirt. Sometimes the this whim is a little picky. And it'll only work if you do the explicit flirt interaction. Come on, sit down, you dust <laughs> sniffer. Okay. But now she wants to woohoo. She wants to kiss him as well. Let's. We can do that. Uh. Why can't they do the one? Oh, there it is. Oh shoot. Should Tony invite over classmate Georgia? Yes. I believe that is who I'm thinking. Where is she? Are all the kids in the bad mood? Maybe I shouldn't have let her come over. Oh, he just needs fun. She needs fun, too. Yes! It's Georgia Kensington, everybody. From last week. I never gave her a makeover for that awful look that she aged up into. Oh my goodness. 
What is that bandana thing on your head, Georgia? Tara needs to go to the bathroom. Okay. Um, you can come in here and watch TV. Okay. What's this? No, we're not buying a B box. Okay, I'm gonna pause it real quick and check what his whims are. He's got nothing related to that. Uh, I'm gonna have her see if he'll woohoo up in this bed. I don't have to roll or anything because she can't get pregnant. So they can just woohoo freely. <laughs> okay, it looks like he said yes. They're gonna go upstairs. We'll give mom and dad privacy while they do that. And watch the kids. Oh, it's the comedy channel. Let's see how the walls up goes. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, Tara's walking by, and we just got a dust bunny. Jamari has to work in an hour. Uh, what does she want? She wants to give a gift. No. <laughs> Get to know Tony, that's a good one. Forgot I had that pinned. She likes talking to her brother. It's really cute. What is Mackenzie doing? She's just standing around. Uh, started club gathering. I don't want to do that. She's in the League of Adventurers. I put most of my kids in the League of Adventurers. Play in dust. No, no, no. Don't do that. Oh, that looks gross. I'm gonna put the walls back down. Uh, are there leftovers? There's not leftovers. What's her cooking skill? She has none. Well, I'm gonna have her learn. <laughs> She can uh, start with garden salad for the whole family. That way she won't burn down the house. I don't know what that loud noise was. Oh, it was probably their woohoo fireworks going off. She loves this tradition. Give flowers. She loves it because she loves the outdoors. Does she have any flowers in her inventory? No. No, she does not. Jamari has unlocked the indoorsy lifestyle. Okay, that's fine. Woohoo. Uh, Brittany has that too, right? Yeah, okay, that's good. So they'll have a lifestyle in common. That will help their relationship, although... The relationship's pretty good anyway. What's going on? You're getting a quick meal while your sister's making salad! Tara is not confident in Mackenzie's salad tossing abilities. Uh, he wants to become angry from his aspiration. It's kind of difficult to become angry, actually. How did she do? It's a normal quality salad. See, I knew that Mackenzie could do it. She's getting a phone call or something. Uh, Cameron Durant wants to come and hang out. Uh, no. That's the nanny. I don't know if that's the nanny in everybody's game, but that's the nanny NPC that spawned in my world. Like, when I started playing. And he's been the nanny forever. I kind of want to kill him off. If you guys would like to see that, let me know. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, you guys might have noticed already if you've looked at my page on Twitch. Uh, I have an Instagram account now. I'm going to be posting my Sims screenshots there, and that's about it. So, um, if you want to follow 
follow me and see my screenshots, including ones from the streams. Um, I believe the URL is Instagram.com slash Zachpotamus. I believe that's how Instagram links work. I just started Instagram. I've never had an Instagram before, so if that's wrong, I'm sorry. But there's also a link on my channel page that just says Instagram with the little Instagram icon next to it, and you guys can click that too if you want to find it more easily. She's making a mess. And no one cares. <laughs> Alright. Uh, she wants to finish her homework. Mom, do you care? I think you should care. Uh, I'm gonna discipline this behavior by punishing her with a timeout. Because I don't want to do this. <laughs> the house gets messy enough with the dust. We're gonna be strict parents. Brittany reached parenting level 5. She can now ground children, or discuss their bad behavior and hug it out. Alright. Uh, what else is this? Go on a date? She likes it from being in a romantic relationship. That's a little... meh. <laughs> Just because you're in a relationship doesn't necessarily mean you should like Valentine's Day or Love Day. I mean, it's kind of commercialized nowadays, so I don't blame anybody if they don't like it. Okay, when she's done with that, she needs the bathroom. What? She needs... Is she off the timeout yet? No. The circle is gone. She wants to do her homework. She should be able to do her homework while she's in timeout. I think that's fair. Because it's schoolwork, you know? It's not like something she'd be doing for fun. Is she playing online or by herself? She's playing by herself against computers. Whoa. <laughs> There's a, there is another bathroom, Mackenzie. She wants to influence Mackenzie. Why are you walking in there, Brittany? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. We got an embarrassing situation on our hands. Mom walked into the bathroom for no reason. Love to see it. Uh, I have pinned in for her do something romantic and give a gift. I don't know who she could be romantic with, though. I don't think she knows any boys. The only boy, teen boy she knows is Hugo Villareal. And I don't remember what I rolled for him. I rolled something for him, so I'm gonna check real quick. Uh, I gotta get my tablet out and, uh... Open up my Google Sheets. It's almost Britney's time! Make the most of these final days! Oh my gosh, you guys, she might even pass away in our episode tonight. But who am I? I'm not sure what I want to be when I grow up, and all my friends seem to have it figured out. How do I figure it out myself? Pick something you like, or no worries, you've got time. Uh, I'm gonna try no worries, you've got time. Let's work on his empathy. His responsibility decreased, though. Lifestyle caps up. Jamari got a promotion to fry cook. He will now make an additional two simoleons per hour. Total 
holding 18 simoleons per hour, he also received a bonus of 325 simoleons. And he now works from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. Great. What does he want to do? He still has that use a workout machine at the gym. Oh, he's doing something. He's going to talk to Mackenzie. Tara is going through a phase. She's found a spirit animal. She will only want to wear her bear suit. Okay, what kind of bear did she get? This is a screenshot right here. She got the strawberry bear. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, come on, game. Don't do this to me. Okay, that's gonna have to be good enough. I'm gonna get the plumb bob off of her head. Yes, that is Tara entering her bear phase, a strawberry bear. She has joined uh, Elsa in the group of Sims who have entered the bear phase in their childhood. You guys remember Elsa was a grape bear? Okay, I found it, you guys. I found Hugo on my spreadsheet, and actually, Hugo rolled bisexual, so Mackenzie could try to date him. He would be interested. Or potentially, anyway. Sorry if you just heard my chair squeak. You probably didn't, hopefully, because the new microphone is supposed to, like, not pick up any noise except for, like, what's directly in front of it. So that's really cool. Um, but if you did hear that, that's what it was. My chair is getting old. But I can't afford a new one. <laughs> I don't know why I had her take a nap when it's like 10.30. Uh, Jamari's the only one awake, and he's up here working out. How does that not I'll wake up your wife. What? That would wake me up. I'm gonna have him go to bed. I hate the way the cutaway looks on the top floor here. Okay. Everyone's asleep. Yay! We have stray animals walking around, because it's Brindleton Bay. And we have pigeons. Okay, uh, Tara's back up. I should have put the Murphy bed down. There's not enough room in this house, so... Um, Tony and Mackenzie are sharing a bed right now. Probably should set it so the girls share a bed, that would probably be a little bit better. And then we have uh, a Murphy bed downstairs. Because I didn't want to buy them a new house because they can't afford it and I don't want to cheat them money. And, um, also can't really afford to renovate the house either. If they had the money, I might consider renovating to add, like, a, a third bedroom. But for now, the Murphy bed works. Sometimes I get serious simulation lag when it's doing the speed through the night, and I have to, like, move it a little bit to make it stop. I don't know if that happens to anyone else, but if it does, you should, um, complain to EA <laughs> a lot. We can, we can never stop complaining as simmers, or they'll get complacent. Okay, she's going downstairs. Oh no, nobody ever put away the salad. She has um, a sentiment about Terra. They're growing closer from quality time. That's wonderful. What's this? 
Oh, for her job, she needs to re reach level 4 research and debate skill. She has work- oh, that's right. The last time I was playing her, I told her to work from home, and then I never did anything about it. They don't get whims about that stuff either. I'm not really sure what to do with it. I think for the episode today, I'm just gonna send her to work, so I don't have to deal with that. I've never seen him get a whim about the research and debate skill either, because I think they stopped before Discovery University with the whims. And, um... Even when you set them to like the research and debate skill, unless they've patched it recently, which they could have and not said anything, um, it doesn't really make them want to use that thing very often, because, um... Yeah, they have a research machine down here. And Jamari likes, uh, research and debate skill, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <clears throat> I forgot to read that one off earlier. What's this? He wants to woohoo in a bush. Okay, uh, I don't think we have a, a woohooing bush around here. Uh... I'll look for one, though. <laughs> what in the world? Uh, nope. Not over there. I don't think there's one just sitting around out here. That's somebody's house. No. There's not. There's no way there's one around. That's a trash fruit? There's a wild trash plant? Oh, goodness. I wonder if that's supposed to be there. Uh, it is spring fest. All right. Um. Oh, pardon me. Uh, spring fest is a holiday that I added to my calendar. It is originally from The Sims 3. Pretty sure. Because they have like the festivals in town if you have uh, the seasons expansion or it's just like a festival ground like all year round pretty much. And um, like they have Love Day 2 in The Sims 3 I believe. But they also have like wider spring fest for like the easter kind of stuff so that's what this is uh the traditions that i gave it are decorate egg hunt flower bunny party spirit and romantic spirit um yeah i don't know why they didn't include this holiday just with seasons all the stuff that you need to make the holiday comes with the expansion. Like, there's a whole NPC, the Flower Bunny, that is just not implemented unless you make a holiday with him. What's the point? Why is he there if he's not something... Like, Father Winter is just forced upon you unless you delete Winterfest. But what about the flower bunny? Why is the flower bunny, like, excluded? We need justice for the flower bunny. What did he just make? A normal faux BLT. Okay, well at least it's normal quality. He only made one? Jambari, do you not care about feeding your family, bro? What is wrong with you? I'm so disappointed. Bad dad. Look at this, Tony is hungry. He could have made something. Does he have any cooking skill? No. See if we can get mom to cook something. It's 8 a.m. Make 
Uh, make omelets. Because it's uh, Easter and it's all about eggs today, right? That counter is a little dirty, but that's okay. Okay. I have to make him go to the bathroom or he'll pee himself, apparently. What? No, bee boxes! Become angry. You're making me angry. <clears throat> Is he actually gonna wait for his mom to finish making breakfast and not get a quick meal? Oh wow. Where did everyone go? <laughs> what happened up here? I don't know what happened up here. Uh, she wants to chat with Tony and finish extra credit. She also has kind of low hygiene, but her sister wants to use the toilet. Okay, I see what happened now. Tara, you're just gonna have to wait. You can wait to take a shower so that Mackenzie can go to the bathroom. Goodness gracious. Okay, I'm gonna lock in. Actually, what's her grade first? She's a B student. So I'm gonna lock in, finish extra credit. It's Saturday, she could do extra credit today. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh. She wants to start a club gathering now. Because Tony's coming to- or, no, she's going down to talk to Tony. Okay. What is happening now? She said- oh my goodness! There are red spots all over your body, Brittany. I believe you are sick. <sighs> oh goodness. Go away! Go away! I like this a lot right now. She's like toasting walls super sick. It's funny. Can we get walls? Oh, yes. Okay. We caught screenshot number two of tonight. Which is good. I probably need like four per episode. So we're halfway there. And it has been over half an hour as well. Usually I make the parts half an hour each. <sighs> Which I need to get on that. I'm still, I'm sorry you guys. <laughs> like... Because I just started my YouTube channel, nobody wants to watch, like, two hours of Sims at once, but they'll watch 30 minutes at a time. So it's... that's what I gotta do. She... oh, that's right, I locked these in. Can we stop fighting over the bathroom? Oh my goodness, this is driving me nuts. Go sit on this bed. Get out of the bathroom. Let your sister take a shower or something. Don't just stand there. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Okay. Randomly, mom is doing sit-ups. Doesn't she dislike fitness, though? No, she doesn't. There's somebody in this house that dislikes likes fitness, I think. I should have read their dislikes off, because now I don't remember. She dislikes handiness and guitar, and she dislikes the color yellow. Let me see if I can find who it was. I think it might be Tony. 
I clicked him, right? There it goes. Yeah, because he's lazy. I probably gave him that. I did. Tony is the one that dislikes fitness. Okay. So if we see Tony doing, like, uh, sit-ups or push-ups, then that's not working right. Just heads up there. Somebody broke the toilet. No. Tony's getting sick now, too. He wants to be friendly with his dad. Let's do that since they're talking in the bathroom for some reason. Blow horns. I, I don't know who blows horns for Easter, but okay. That's one of the holiday interactions. Be mischievous. Uh, mischief. Tell him an urban legend. That's a teen interaction, I think, from Parenthood. Something about mermaids. Uh, I don't think his dad believed him. Uh, that completed this one for his aspiration. Now he needs to be disliked by two sims. Oh, that's how we could make him angry, actually. I could have him fight with other sims. Like, oh, it says right here. Selecting mean interactions on other sims. Okay, well, that might take a while. I don't know who I would want him to be mean to. I don't think I want him to be mean to any family members. No B-Box for you. Stop it. Uh, he just got the adoring sentiment with Mackenzie. Jamari did. Yeah, that was it. We've seen that one before on my channel. Uh, doesn't. Tara, yeah, Tara loves the egg hunt from being a child. She also, uh, loves the flower bunny tradition. We need to do friendly interactions with the flower bunny with her. So, yeah, where's he going? He's going upstairs. Is she upstairs? Yes. Okay. He's a little bit, he's a little bit creepy. Not gonna lie. Maybe that's why he's an optional NPC. <laughs> he just gave her a flower. A rose. Oh, he is the flower bunny, I guess. Yeah. That tracks. They just became good friends, just like that. Oh, She needs to do friendly interactions with him, so... Oh, ask him about his hobbies. What kind of stuff does the flower bunny like? I wonder if it's gonna be random. It's probably gonna be random. So the flower bunny in someone else's game would probably like other stuff. Come on. Where's he going? No! Oh, he's coming over here? He just became good friends with Tony. Does he just, like, exude a friendship aura or something? He likes the violin. <laughs> Okay. Uh, ask about taste in music. And then ask about favorite color. We need to know this information about the flower bunny. It's critical. The flower bunny dislikes winter holiday music. Oh. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Is there beef between the flower bunny and Father Winter? Or is that just a coincidence? Don't 
the flower bunny likes the color gray. Okay, uh, does he have any traits as well? Get to know. I think I would like a screenshot of the flower bunny as well. I'll put it on Jamari real quick to get rid of the plum bob. There, that's good. <clears throat> the flower bunny is a pretty momentous occasion for our stream today, so don't want to forget that. Is she done yet? Yeah, she finished the tradition. She needs to do the egg hunt now as well. So I believe you just click objects. Click objects in the world and select hunt for egg. I'm gonna have her go outside. So I think most people hide their Easter eggs outside. <laughs> Unless it's raining or something. Which it's not. No expected rain, and we're almost... Oh, that's right. I said it to be the last day of spring as well. The holiday is the last day of spring every sim year. She still needs to hunt for more eggs. Did she find one? Did it pop up? She did find eggs. Okay. It did not pop up, though. Uh, I don't know how many she needs. She didn't find an egg, okay? She has a thought bubble that says if she finds an egg or not. Oh, she found an egg. She completed the tradition. Okay, so you need three eggs to complete the egg hunt tradition. Where did she get this? From Purple Permafrost. Did the flower bunny give her this flower arrangement? I remember he gave her a rose. But now she has a whole flower arrangement in her inventory? It's in pristine condition. That's weird. Uh, she should get some breakfast. Oh goodness, I should also have somebody put it away. I'm gonna make them get breakfast. He got it. Everybody. <laughs> Only Tony ate, I think. Because nobody else was that hungry. Everybody was so distracted by the flower bunny, too. Okay, is that everybody? I'm just gonna wait. That was not everyone. I'm just gonna drag it into the fridge myself. I can't trust these Sims to do it. And they're gonna waste all the money. Everybody's just chilling with the flower bunny. They, they don't mind this giant anthropomorphic rabbit in their house. It's not weird at all. He doesn't like Jamari, or he doesn't like what he's doing, something like that. Where is she going? Rude introduction? She's gonna go give a rude introduction to a stray cat, a sick stray cat, no less. Wow, that's really mean. What is your problem, Mackenzie? She's not even mean or evil or anything. Why are you giving a rude introduction to this poor, sick, stray cat? That's just cruel. I am very disappointed in you, young lady. Okay, I'm gonna have Tara do that extra credit. No, 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 don't you dare. She's gonna make a mess. It was in her action queue. 
She wants to level up in social skill. Okay, I'll pin that. I still haven't done any of this stuff from Kinsey. I'm gonna unpin Give Gift. Oh, what's this? Woo hoo with Brittany. All right, but she's still ill. <laughs> so I don't know. She might not want to do it. In. Influence Mackenzie. Where did she go anyway? Oh, she's up in the bath. Pardon me. Okay, I'm thinking about expanding this bathroom downstairs so that we can put the shower down here. And then, or a shower. Maybe not the shower from upstairs, and that way they can still have both. Um, upstairs, but I'm thinking that we need to have another shower down here, because five people sharing one room for hygiene isn't really working out that well. Uh, we need to... How much is this? I'm just gonna replace it. When does the flower bunny leave? It's like 6.30 at night. Georgia is wondering if Tony wants to go to her house. No, we don't want to travel. Georgia can come over here. Oh, right. Tony likes the egg hunt too. What's this? What's this? Be funny with Jamari. Uh, let me leave it open. I missed whatever that was. Oh well. Uh, no egg there. You can hunt for an egg in the mailbox? I'm gonna do it. I didn't know you could do that. I've only played this holiday a few times. I usually just go for the bushes. It makes the most sense to me. That's where my parents and grandparents would hide eggs. In the grass, in the bushes, in trees. Right, he finished that tradition. Uh, I think Jamari loves it too. Yeah, he does. Uh, can I look in the same... I can't look in the same bush as somebody else. Okay, um... There's one that's... There's another one in here. What about this one? Okay, all these bushes are fine. The flower bunny is blowing horns. What is Tony doing? He's just standing out here. Oh, Mackenzie is coming over to talk to him. Okay. You got one egg? We got mm, still one egg. <laughs> oh, I can click this thing too. Oh, two eggs now. Nope. Okay, we got this bush here. We can check. No egg there either. Okay, here's another one. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't know what that was. I hope Tara wasn't asking for advice because we just canceled it out. 
Okay, Jamari finished his tradition. Um, I don't think anybody loves decorating for this. No, nobody loves decorating for this, but I'm going to do it anyway because I want to see what the decorations are because it does have its own decoration theme that you can set. I believe it's spring theme. All right, that's pretty cute. These things got flowers on them. Okay, uh, Tara's asking somebody for advice. Lonely recess. Last recess. No one wanted to play with me. I just climbed around on my own. If that happens again, what should I do? Ask other kids if you can join in. Okay, she got conflict resolution and lost some emotional control. Yeah, these decorations are are pretty good. They definitely seem more spring than Easter or something specifically like that. Mackenzie got a sentiment with the flower bunny and so did Jamari. Or no, the flower bunny got a sentiment about them? Yeah, the flower bunny got sentiments about them. I think is what happened. Yes. So apparently the flower bunny really, really likes them. He's still here too. It's 9.30 p.m. Is he going to be here until the holiday ends at 2 a.m.? Because that seems a bit excessive. I don't think Father Winter's around this long. I suppose all you have to do with him, though, is ask for a present, so... It shouldn't take us long, in theory. But when you have eight sins, it does take a little bit longer than the time allotted. Just putting that out there. I'm gonna have him cook a dinner for himself. He needs to get some cooking skill. Onigiri. It's a great um, alternative to garden salad if you have the Snowy Escape expansion. It is rice balls, if you guys didn't know that. You'll be able to see it when it's done. Hopefully he doesn't mess it up really bad. Because it looks... Ah! Super gross, but it's poor quality. Oh my goodness. I don't know why it looks like salad, though. They could have at least made that stuff a different color, so it looked like rice, and not green. Yeah, that's a single serving. I forgot I had him do only a single serving. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get a good view of the rice ball. <laughs> but yeah, there it is. It's a vegetarian meal, just like garden salad. I don't think anyone is. No. No one here is a vegetarian. Hang on a second. What are they doing here? He's toasting. What is he toasting? What do you have to toast, Flower Bunny? I'm so confused. He's still here. It's almost midnight. 
<laughs> Cricky. Chifakalu, Yal Mazura. Beat you to your blick. Uh, everybody's going to bed. And the flower bunny is still here. <laughs> Why did she wake up? They woke her up with the TV. Oh my goodness. Can you leave? I can't ask him to leave. I think the only way I can make him leave is to end the holiday. And it's almost over, so I guess I'll just let him stay until it's over. I can't believe he's here. All day long, until 2 a.m. Look at his soulless eyes. He's just staring directly at us. <laughs> I can't look at it anymore. I can't look at it anymore. Leave, flower bunny. Why won't you leave? Wait, stars? This one has stars on it. Look. Stars, not flowers. She put that plate down really loudly. At least for me, in he headphones. Oh my gosh, I can't super speed because the flower bunny is here. Leave our house. Wait, it's past 2 a.m. and he's still here! There, the holiday was the ending because of simulation lag. Okay, he's finally leaving. Thank goodness. Tomorrow is Sunday. We could go to the Sims Sessions Music Festival again, but that might take up the whole stream. Uh, the rest of the stream, I mean. Um. But yeah, if anybody's watching, let me know in chat if you want to see it again. We went there last week. But I don't mind going again, if that's what people want to do. I think I need to do that remodel for the bathroom, though, while everybody's sleeping. Uh, I'm going to enter build mode and do that. Yeah. I'm going to sell off this statue. They need money. It's not doing anything for them. They also don't need this potty chair anymore. Uh, I'm gonna put it on after- uh, that did not help. Hang on, I'm gonna go back into live mode and turn on the lights in the living room and the bathroom. Just so I can see in there better. I'm gonna turn on this light here specifically. And this one here. And then, where's the bathroom light? It's this. Okay. I'm gonna turn those on so I can see. Go back into build mode. So yeah, that was too dark. I can't see what I'm doing. 
I think this could be really simple. We just grab this wall here and pull it back one. Oh, I didn't want to move the toilet too, but I guess that's fine. Um, and then we can turn the scene like that. Oh, but there's a mirror there. That looks silly. Uh, what can I do? Okay, I know what I can do. I need to put the sink over here. Put the mirror over here. And then... I think I'm gonna move the bathtub, actually. Oh no. I think I'm just gonna copy the bathtub. We can have a second bathtub down here. And people get in the bathtub from this direction. It's a bit crowded, but it should work. At least I think it will. I'll have to test it and see if they can walk through there. If they can't walk through there, I'll do something else. Okay, where's somebody who needs to... Well, nobody needs hygiene now. Uh, she's eating. Can't do that. Brittany's done upstairs. I'll have her walk down here. Okay. Go here. I need you to test. Can you get in this bathroom? Can you walk past everything? Here she comes. Yes, she can fit past. Excellent. I'm gonna have her get water. <laughs> That's why she came down here. Summer has begun. That's perfect, actually. Tara's in her bear suit. Wonderful. so hard to see my screen with my new microphone. It's like right in the way of my monitor. And it's huge. Okay, I am gonna see. Can we have Mackenzie invite over Hugo? Why is he not in her relationship panel? Was it not her that knew him? I could have sworn. Um, Why? What? Uh, oh. I'm very confused. I know for a fact that I saw him in her relationship panel before. And now he's not in anyone's relationship panel. What? No, 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 no. I know for a fact he was there. So I went through all that trouble to look him up on the spreadsheet. I wouldn't have done that if he wasn't there. He wouldn't even come to mind. What happened? She just, like, forgot she knows him or something? What? What is up with that? EA? Sims team? Anybody? Wanna help me out with that one? Why are my Sims forgetting their acquaintances? Like, why are they forgetting that they exist? Are you tell them, or did he die? I don't think he died. But now, the only way I can find out is if I go to his house. Or if they meet again at school, I guess? How close is she on that social skill? 
a little over halfway there. Wait, which bathtub is she in? Oh, she's cleaning the bathtub. That's even better. <clears throat> we need another breakfast, um, breakfast platter. I'm gonna have mom serve oh, no. pancakes today. She can't get to the fridge because of reasons? Why can't he just like move? In The Sims 3 at least, they would move out of the way if that was the problem. We have more teleportation going on. Yet again. Will we have a week without our sims randomly teleporting for no reason? I can't tell you. But hopefully we will. Hopefully they'll do something about it. Because it is ever so immersion breaking and just upsetting. I never played any Sims game where they just teleport around like that. Wow, that renovation didn't really cost us very much, did it? That was maybe 600 simoleons? Just to extend the bathroom by a tile and add a bathtub? Not bad, not bad. <clears throat> now hopefully we won't have the girls fighting for the upstairs bathroom as much anymore. Okay, breakfast is ready. Uh, the dishwasher broke. Fantastic. 322 simoleons to replace. No, no, no. We're gonna hire a repairman. Air service. Oh, now Tony is sick too. He's got those spots that his mom had yesterday. They don't have a tea machine either, so they can't fix it that way, but... You might get a whim to want medicine. Flea market is in town. I'm not interested in the flea market today. He's got that pinned. Uh, yeah, let's have him do that. See if Brittany is interested in a woohoo. It's a stormy night. The kids aren't going to hear any. Or stormy morning, actually. It's 10 in the morning. I forgot it. He'll probably say yes. It's pretty rare that they say no if the relationship is high enough. Which I find a little unrealistic, but okay. Did everybody get their breakfast? Yes, okay. Put it away. Dishwasher's fixed. What in the world is she watching? There was a firefighter. Oh, now it's now it's Egypt. Wait, is it saying she's wet? 
Was she outside? Okay. When did she go outside? I don't remember that. Mari's working out again. No buying a bee box. Stop getting that, please. Ah. Enter someone in fitness. Uh, I don't know. Uh, everybody's breaking out into these spots. Oh my gosh. Whatever this illness is, is very contagious. Mackenzie wants to finish extra credit. Oh, good. Brittany's come over here. That's exactly what I want. Okay, I want to influence. Influence to... What can we have her do? Influence to pee. Influence to make group meal. Pick up trash. Skill building. Influence to play. Influence to shower. Sleep. Set the table. Uh, how are her manners, actually? They could use some help. I believe setting the table gives manners, so I'm going to have her influence to set the table. And that will complete her whim. Uh... Or not? Does she have to complete the interaction she was influenced to do? Or... I'm very confused why I did not fulfill that whim. We influenced her, I'm gonna have to dismiss it, I guess, because it's not working. Play in the rain. I don't want to do that. Sims Sessions is happening right now. Do we want to go? Do we want to go? I will give you in the chat about 20 seconds to decide starting right now. Uh, so yeah. I, uh, I did it last week. Um, if you want to see it. In that episode, it's still up for playback for the next week. Um, okay, we got nothing in chat, so I'm not going to go. No thanks. Um... If you change your mind, or if somebody else jumps in and wants to go to some sessions, we can do that. It will continue on until 12 a.m. on... Actually, you know what? We should go, because it ends in one hour in real life. Like, we're never going to be able to see it again. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm trying to remember how long exactly it took last week. I think it took like half an hour. Because, let's see, are we gonna be- is there gonna be anything important going on? Oh. Yeah, Brittany might die. So... I don't want her to die at sim sessions, that would be bad. I want her to die at the house so that I have control of all that, her tombstone and everything like that. So yeah, I don't want her to die at sim sessions, I forgot she's like, ready to go any day now, any minute now, honestly. I think by the end of today this is gonna roll over, and then, um, we'll see her demise by the end of the episode. Which is quite sad. But her time has been coming 
her forever. <laughs> What is she doing? She's eating more pancakes. She is a glutton. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, she got a whim about curing your illness. She's the only one so far. I'm gonna order some off the computer. Order purchase medicine. Okay, take the medicine. In the no more spots. Uh, but seriously, she doesn't know Hugo anymore. I was gonna try to get him over here and have her flirt with him. She wants to do something romantic. She's had that forever. I'm just gonna unpin it, because nothing is happening for her to do that. Hopefully she'll get something else. Brittany needs to still level up her programming skill. I'm gonna have her continue that side job that she was working on when we started today's episode. Uh, Tara had a... No, I missed it. I couldn't see her head. She's right in the middle where my Ooh, microphone is. I don't want to move it, though. <laughs> Ooh, uh -huh. Next week, I'll have to remember to set it up further to the right of my screen. So it doesn't cover up my Sims faces. Mackenzie seems to be enjoying this music. Should Mackenzie gain the likes hip hop preference? Sure. I'm not a fan personally, but if she wants to like hip hop, okay. Make sure the volume is on medium. Yes, it is. Okay. I can't even hear it myself, but. That's fine. Oh, that's from the kids' show. I thought that was the music for a second. Coming downstairs. Now she wants to schedule a date. There's nobody for you to have a date with, Mackenzie. Who are you going to do that with? Apparently you forgot about the one boy that you know, other than your brother. Oh, she's almost done with this. Her skill is not even close to leveling up. I mean, it's a little over halfway, but at her level, that takes a long time. She is level 7 right now, trying to go up to level 8. That takes a while. Why is he sitting on his knees to watch TV from behind the couch instead of sitting on the couch? What? That's weird. That is not human behavior. He's not an alien, I, I, I assure you of that. He's not an alien. Although he acts like one. <laughs> I have yet to actually, like, properly encounter an alien in this save file. I have seen aliens before in Sims 4 not in this one, this save. There was a lady who got abducted by aliens, but she didn't meet them. So, like, she doesn't have a relationship 
relationship with any aliens or anything like that. That makes me sad. I want an alien baby. Okay, Brittany completed her side job. Finally. What else can she do to level up her programming skill? Uh, and make some money. Oh. This guy is asking her if she wants to go out on a date. I forgot about this, actually. So. A while back. Off stream, of course, because this is the first time we've joined the Burgess family. Brittany had an affair, but she's kind of like lost interest in that, so she's gonna say no. This was before they adopted kids. <clears throat> but since the kids, she just doesn't really care about that guy anymore. It's also never a good time. Uh, anyway, she needed to level up her programming skill. Hack. Let's hack and get some money, too. The Lothario Trust Fund. I feel like there's a joke in there somewhere, but I don't know if I can explain it. <laughs> Is that like all of Don Lothario's kids need a trust fund? Because he's the womanizer and it's, he'll have a lot of illegitimate kids something like that but then then sims 4 it's like an alternate universe so that doesn't even make sense when you think about it for too long like me <laughs> They are a peaceful, peaceful family. Oh my goodness. How can we get Mackenzie to meet a boy? We may have to travel. But I don't know where. Where do the teen boys go in this game? I don't know. Park? Also, it's a thunderstorm in Winded... Or, no, not Winded... Brindleton Bay, that's where we are. So, we might want to travel... Uh, what do we... Wait, 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 whoa, 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 what is that? What is that? What is this? There's like an invisible person or creature or something. There was like footsteps on the rain, the rainwater. That was weird. It was like there was somebody running past. See, like there was just that person running. But there was nobody there. An invisible person. Which I have seen people go invisible, like, randomly before, so I wonder if it's messed somebody up in my game and made them invisible for no reason. I have no custom content whatsoever and no mods, so anything that is weird is 100% the Sims 4. What? What is she uncomfortable from? Oh, she's sick too. Okay. I'm gonna get him to cook again. Cause, yeah. Maybe he'll start a fire. <laughs> I'm gonna have him make mac and cheese. For the whole family. At his age, he should know how to make mac and cheese. He's like 15, 16 years old. Sure. Hey, 
airbrush. Oh goodness. Ugh. No. I wanted the fire. You can never cause a fire when you want there to be a fire in The Sims 4. There's only ever a fire by accident. At the most random times. I'm surprised the dust hasn't gotten bad enough for there to be a fire from that yet. She got cereal after we slaved over that hot stove for shame. Okay, she needs a- actually, I am going to have her- I'm gonna have her go to sim sessions, and maybe she'll meet someone there. Cause this thunderstorm is getting on my nerves. It's still open for the next three minutes. So, oh, Brittany's long life is coming to an end. Yeah, she'll be okay. Yeah, if I've got that pop up, she'll probably be fine. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I set my Magnolia Blossom as a teen neighborhood as well. I don't know if that'll work. Well, the event is ongoing. Hopefully it does. And that should attract some teens. And can be a teen boy, Mackenzie, to introduce herself to. And I think all we'll get to see today is BB Rexa, unless it's... That should be the end, unless they randomize it. I don't know. But I came near the end of it, so... That's what it was at the end of it last time. We, we know about Sim Sessions. Thank you, game. She's running off to the stage. That's fine. Takes a while just to get there. Okay, I see people. Yes, it is BB Rexa here. This is the end of the festival. I think she just started her song too.
I'm gonna have her buy t-shirts. Hopefully these are just in the game without having to buy them, because, uh... I didn't make any effort on doing that. Oh. Okay, I do need to buy them all, like, right now, actually. <laughs> These are limited edition t-shirts, you guys. I did not know this at all, so, uh, uh... <laughs> if you're watching, and you haven't bought these t-shirts yet in your game, you should turn your game on, get it to Sunday and game as fast as you can, and buy them, because there is only about 38 real-life minutes left until this event ends, and it will never be here again, as far as I know. These shirts are only available from this stall on the event lot, so, get them while you can. I'm actually really glad that I came here now, because I did not know that. Hopefully that didn't only unlock them for her family. Hopefully that unlocked it for my entire Kratosim catalog for everyone, but it wasn't very clear. It says... the. Clothing you purchased will be available in CAS for your household sims to use. It's not really that clear if that's specifically for this household, or if it's unlocked for all my sims now. I would hope it's the latter, otherwise that really, really kind of sucks. But I'd need to come back here and buy it with a bunch of different people. Okay, I... Wasn't there supposed to be a way you could get on stage? Who's this? Ulrich Faust? A townie's getting on stage! Oh dear. <laughs> is, is that Mary Had a Little Lamb? I thought she was gonna sing, not play the piano terribly. Okay, I'm gonna have Mackenzie go home. Uh, I almost forgot where they lived. Brindleton Bay. I like to let their portraits load in before I hit confirm. Because I'm weird. Okay, we've got about 20 minutes left in tonight's stream, so... We'll probably... See Brittany pass away by that time, and that is probably gonna be the end of the episode actually when that happens, so it's gonna be kind of a sad ending tonight. Be prepared. Okay, uh, sleep. Good. Oh dear, why is everybody else- everybody else's energy is like full. What? Did they not have a whole day themselves? Okay, well... <laughs> they'll take care of themselves and it's fine. Win a multiplayer game on the video game console. Hey, he... Wait. I thought he had that, too. Jamari did. Well, it's gone now. Did all their things get... I think all their whims got unpinned by me going to sim sessions. And they reset. 
<clears throat> uh, no, we're not gonna buy a basketball hoop in this house. Or a sprinkler. Or a beatbox. Never the beatbox. Okay, not never. Only if we had, like, crops. Plants. Of any kind. In a sufficient quantity. Uh, he wants to go for a jog, but right now he is got the uh, dangerously tired bootlet that elders get, so he can't exercise right now. I don't think. No, he can't. He's probably working out like he do. Tony doesn't know anybody either, no. <sighs> Gosh. You teens. You, you have no life. Wait, why is there uneaten food here? Eat this. Cut this away. How does he have so much energy right now? I don't understand. Were you not awake all day? I guess because we were at sim sessions, they were on to take care of themselves, and somehow they restored all their energy. I... Tara should take it, or no, Mackenzie. Usually Tara sleeps on that side. When she sleeps up there. Inspired. A day of music and inspiration from attending Sims sessions. I didn't even notice that last week they get a they got a special moodlet for this. Only plus one inspired? Really? Only plus one for your special limited time event moodlet? Okay, that's a choice. Not one I understand, but it's certainly a choice. I would think it would be a lot stronger given it's a limited time only event and that we won't ever see it again. Why, why would you want something like that to be overpowered that easily? That you only make it a plus one? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Is she taking a nap? Can we not break the sink for one day? That would be great. Actually go to sleep, like, in your, your pajamas. Why is everybody not asleep? Go to bed. How are you not tired? That messed up everybody's schedule, I tell ya. It still says he's suspended. It says cannot enroll for zero days. I don't understand. Does that mean he can enroll now? Even though he's suspended? Like, I'm so confused. It's probably not even worth it at this point. He's so close to dying. Whatever. Oh. 
Uh, let me check on Brittany's age thingy. Yeah, it's, 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 um, it's glowing. You, that means she's gonna die today. At some point today. I don't know what time in the game it will be, but it's gonna be today. Today is a holiday. It is re Rebate day, which I personally don't care about at all. But Brittany loves it from being materialistic. All object purchases in build mode earn a 10% rebate for today only. Buy an object worth at least 500 simoleons to complete this tradition. We're not going to do that this year. <laughs> So, playing on the computer and using the workout machine in the same room doesn't wake Simmons up, but the TV does. Hmm. Interesting. I remember in past games, the computer would wake people up. I don't know about the workout machine, but it seems like it would. Like, it's a big, heavy piece of machinery. Probably makes a lot of noise. Kids have school. Brittany received zero pay from her work from home assignment. Uh, I'm gonna have her go to work today, even though she'll probably die. <laughs> it's her last day of work. Uh. Uh, Jamari will be at home, because he has the day off. I don't know what I'm going to have him do. <clears throat> oh, oh, Tony is in range to earn the good manners trait? Nice! Uh, I'm going to have Jamari go for that jog. Right. It, it, yeah, just barely in range. Okay. Cool. Good manners is an awesome character value reward trait to get. Mr. Sims can do a polite introduction. And, oh my gosh, the friendship levels from that are insane. You pretty much become friends with somebody the moment you meet them. I was interested in that TV show, thank you very much. Okay, everyone except Jamari is off to school. Slash work. Brittany's a teacher, so she works at the school. I'm just gonna fast forward. Work out on a workout machine. Yeah, we could do that. When he gets back. Why is that person wearing a Santa Claus hat in the middle of summer? What was that about? It's almost Jamari's time to make the most of these final days. That cat has a top hat on. Oh, that's right. It's Mayor Whiskers. I almost forgot about him. Uh, we have a chance card for Tony, school project. Students are allowed to choose their own assignment for an upcoming school project. Should Tony choose an easy assignment or a new challenging assignment? Uh, let's go tough. It's too far over his head and Tony gets a poor grade. Ooh, dear. A small performance loss. Uh, oh dear. Jamari's too exhausted to work out on the workout machine now. 
Oh, we have somebody doing something at school. Tony was discovered playing games on his phone when he should have been paying attention to a lesson. Uh, I'm going to say a warning should do. Is he just going to stand out there in the rain all day long? There, There's another invisible person running. Let's follow the... Where are they going to go? It just stopped. Right here. What is this? There's a mysterious box. I want to open it. The weird invisible person water footsteps led me to this box, you guys. What is it? Oh my gosh, how far away is he? I'm going to speed it up. There he is. Squeak or squeak squeaking? Couldn't we dig here as well? I want to dig here. Dig here. I don't come back. Oh, it's a thunderstorm. Never mind. Oh, we have a maid? I thought I canceled that. Uh, not in tonight's episode, like, off stream. I thought I canceled that. Apparently not. Um, cancel maid service. And if it's if our house is so clean, we don't need the maid. Then uh, let's cancel the maid, save some money. Oh, why is that mac and cheese just sitting there? Um, no, 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 man, you need to leave. I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you. <laughs> I have seen this sim almost every time I play for over a year in real life. I'm sick of him. Uh, well at this rate, she might not pass away. The sneeze, I must mute. Oh. And then it didn't happen. Okay. I said that and then it went away. Like, it's messing with me. Today's mail has been delivered. We got bills to pay. 2,500 simoleons. Oh, man. They're not going to have very much money left. Oh, dear. I don't think we're going to actually get to Brittany's death today. With how close it is, if we don't get there by two hours, I will just continue on my own until she passes away. And then, whenever we come back to the Burgess, Shimari will be a widower and single father for a few days before his own demise, which will leave... Tony as the oldest to take care of his sisters. I'm not even sure he'll be a young adult by then. Since he has five days until he ages up. But I'm pretty sure that teens, since they can hold part-time jobs, can actually be in a household by themselves without a young adult or anything like that. I'm not 100% sure. If I have to, I'll move an adult in here. Or move them into a different house with an adult caregiver. But that won't be for a while.
So we'll need to have a week where we come back. Which will not be next week, because I don't usually do two weeks in a row of the same family. Uh, let's see. Who's about the outdoors? Eh. That's kind of a weak whim. I mean, it's okay. Research workout tips. Yeah, we can do that. They're almost over from school. I wonder if she'll pass right as she gets home. <laughs> that would be terrible. She won't be home until 4, I don't think. Yeah, she works till 4pm. The kids come home at 3pm. When the game wants to work properly. That is. Wait, did they all return with the project? They all return home with the school project, okay. Well, I'm not dealing with that now. <laughs> we don't have enough time to deal with that today. Uh, Tara wants to finish her homework. Great, pin that. No bee box. Text emergency. We want it. the emotional control. Thank you. His manners fell out of range. That's fine. We can get it back up pretty easily. He's got the time. He's got the inclination. Mackenzie's going to ask her dad for advice. Oh, she has a plus 50 tens. The edge of a breakout. All this stress is going to cause me to break out. Act more stress from that thought. Maybe I should go into the skin details and actually give her some acne after that happens. I wish it was like Sims 2 where they could just get it and then you had to use like acne medicine but no making friends I really want to be friends with someone but they don't seem to really want to be friends with me make one grand friendly gesture get that emotional control hey Tara reached social level 5 that was her whim wasn't it there was before, and then it reset, I guess. It must have. It must have reset when I went to sim sessions. <clears throat> oh. Camera, would you calm down? I'm going to speed up. <laughs> I think it was around 9 p.m. when... What's happening? I can still click her. Okay. No, we don't want to go to your house, Georgia. Our, our mom is going to die like any second. Thank you. Uh, I do believe the pop-up came at 9 p.m. yesterday in Sims time. So, we can get it to 9 p.m. really quick. She might die. And then, yeah, that could be the end of the stream. But if it goes past 9 she's still not dead, then that's going to be it. This 
going quite slow. Mackenzie, you're not doing anything, you know. You you have free will, you have autonomy, you can do stuff. Why are you not doing anything? Tony, take care of yourself. What's wrong with you? Seriously? <laughs> Look, I'll show you. Just, just to be 100% full autonomy. <laughs> They're not doing anything. What in the world is he doing now? Make garden salad? Okay. Take that initiative. Come on, game. Let's get through this. We got one more sim hour. And then hopefully this old lady will buy the farm. Come on, lady. No, you can't come over to hang out, Cameron. Leave us alone, you creepy nanny immortal. He makes me so mad. This stupid face. Okay, it is 9 p.m. She is not... She's not dropping. She's not dropping, you guys. She's not dead. She's not, not dead. She's not dead. Well... Oh, 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 she's dying! She's dying! Brittany's dying! Brittany has lived a long life, but her time has finally come. She's dying of old age. Her daughter's down here. She changed her bear costume. <laughs> she changed her bear costume to watch her mom die. <laughs> what is that? Jamari, get up. Your wife is dying. Mackenzie, get up. Your mom is dying. Grim is here. Oh, Brittany. I knew it was coming, but I'm so sad. I'm sad for your family. Take a screenshot of her- Wait, what is Grim doing? He's got his scythe out. I gotta get it at the right time. For it to look good. Oh! He's taking his scythe! I'm gonna let him go down a little bit. Okay. Oh, he's hitting him, though. Oh, that looks cool. I've never really noticed his hands do that before. That's gonna- that's gonna be the one. I don't wanna highlight that bed, though. There we go. That's him taking out her soul. That's a good screenshot. Oh, she turned into an urn. That's good. That's good. We didn't have it bug out. Sometimes it bugs out for me. Um, I'm gonna just real quick strengthen her connection so we don't lose her. Make sure we do that. Um, I'll probably put Brittany in my graveyard lot that I have. And pause it. I'll probably put Brittany in my graveyard lot that I have. Um, or if you guys tell me something in like Discord or whatever that you guys want to see her ghost in the next episode that we visit her household, um, her family, then I could keep it here in her house. But yeah, um, that's gonna be in the end of uh, tonight's stream, you guys. Um, we're here with the Burgess family who just lost their mom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, what do I want to say? Um, 
before I go, once again, I got a new microphone. Hopefully you were able to tell in tonight's stream. Um, please let me know what you think of the audio quality so I can make sure I have all the right settings and stuff going on. Um, once again, I have started an Instagram account where I will be posting my sim screenshots, including the ones from these streams. So if you want to see those, you can find the link to that on my uh, Twitch page. Give me a follow on Instagram to get alerted when I post things. And then um, if you haven't already, you can also find my YouTube channel link on there and give me a subscribe. I'll have the playbacks for these streams on that channel in the future. Um, and also, I want to give a shout out, as usual, to Pleasant Sims, who has inspired this series. You can check her out at twitch.tv slash Pleasant Sims. Right now, she's on a small hiatus, but you can still watch her stuff on playback. You can also find her on YouTube, and she also has her own website, PleasantSims.com. Alrighty, you guys. That's everything. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week for the next episode of Whimsical Sims. Alright, bye!